Hey guys, it's Clean and Blake with Redefine Horizons. And today we're doing another field survey Friday video. I think we're going to do a couple. So what's the topic for today's video? What is a field drawing? We're going to answer these three questions. What is a field drawing? Why do you need one? And when do you need one? Those are the three questions we're going to answer. We'll do a second video that talks a little bit about how you can structure a field drawing. This is something I learned about when I worked at Odell Engineering. So one of the most important things I took away from there. That's an advantage of uh, working a bunch of different places like I have, is you get to kind of take the best from every place. <laughs> so I've tried to do that. Um, field drawings is something I learned from Odell Engineering. And I, I've implemented that at some different places, and I've done it some different ways. And what I'm going to talk about today is just one way to do a field drawing. There are lots of different ways you can do this. You don't have to do it in a drawing. You can do it in... You could do it in an Excel spreadsheet. You could do it in a GIS. Today, I'm going to talk about how you do it in a drawing. So, <clears throat> different ways to do it, but it's a, it's a cool concept, and I think it's very helpful. So, what is a field drawing? A field drawing, what is a field drawing at Redefine Horizons? A field drawing stores important information about your field work, okay? So, that includes information about your control, what exists, what's been destroyed, mapping limits, so the mapping limits, the scope, Mapping limits from the scope of work, and then the mapping limits of each survey, field survey that you've done. Kind of oddball stuff. There was a car parked on top of a manhole. You couldn't dip it. Um, you saw some utility paint uh, that you didn't expect to see. Just kind of weird stuff that happens on field surveys that gets noted in the drawing. The sequence of the field surveys. So we have a little table where we put in a little bit of information about every field survey that was done on a job. And then uh, you can also use that to keep some notes on how you're reviewing your raw data. Um, that's really important, especially if you're doing raw data review by hand, you're not using software to do it. But even at my company where we used uh, Trimble Business Center to do raw data review, it helps to have some notes somewhere, a record of what was done and by who and when. Okay, so that that's what a field drawing is. So why do you need one? Uh, I'm going to give you three reasons why you need a field drawing. So uh, one reason is it provides a simple, easy source of information about field work. And if you set it up right, it's like kind of like the go-to source. So you don't have to open a bunch of raw data files. You don't have to look in a bunch of field books. You don't have to call three different party chiefs. If you're an office surveyor, you can go straight to the field drawing, open that up, and get 95% of what you need to know about the field work. Now, you might still have to look at some field notes. You might still have to call party chief, but a bunch of the information you need is going to be stored in the field drawing. So you want that one source people can go to. Uh, the the uh, field drawing, if you decide to manage your field work in a GIS, maybe for a larger project, the field drawing can provide the geometry and some of the attribute data that you need to do that. And if, if, you, if you're not a GIS user, you have people on your team that aren't GIS users, but they're CAD users, they can get into a field drawing. It kind of works a little bit like a GIS. It can give, you, give those guys some of the information they need. If you got somebody on your team, like your boss, for example, that doesn't know how to use CAD or GIS, you can use a field drawing the way we've set it up to do prop, you can plot, easily plot PDFs, have, has all the, most of the most important information in the field drawing can be plotted to PDF and you can give that to your boss. And if you've got a non-technical boss, then your boss can look at that kind of stuff. So those are all uh, reasons why you might want a field drawing. So when should you have one? Uh, my answer is you should have one on every project. Uh, they're easy to set up if you have a template. So it, it doesn't take a lot of time and effort. Uh, there is some effort there. I'm not, I don't want to lie to you. There is some effort to keep a field drawing, to create a field drawing, to keep it maintained. But if you get your people trained and you have a good template, it's not a huge deal. I think the benefits weigh, the benefits outweigh the costs, definitely. Um, now, if you're doing simple surveys where all the field work gets done in one day, you might not need a field work. You might not need a field drawing, excuse me, for that job. So let's say you're doing a simple elevation certificate. Might not need a field drawing for that. Let's say you're going to do a, a quick half-day topo of an empty lot, vacant lot. You might not need a field drawing for that. We like to do a field drawing for every job here at Redefined Horizons. I like my people to have that habit. But I understand you may not need that for simple projects. I certainly encourage you as your projects get bigger or more complex, you've got multiple crews working on a job, you're out for multiple days, You've got a project that's running for, let's say, two, three years. Sometimes a project can run. Definitely take advantage of a field drawing. It's going to help you stay organized. So projects with multiple surveys, projects where you're working multiple crews, project with, with a long time frame, multiple visits, um, you should have a field drawing for those. Definitely have a field drawing for those. 
Um, if you are, I know everybody's reviewing their raw data, but if you're not using sur survey software like Trimble Business Center or like a Geomatics Office to review your raw data, if you're doing that by hand or you're doing it in CAD, I encourage you to have a field drawing. Um, that field drawing can be where you do some of your raw data review. It can be where you store information about how your check shots went, how you set new control, what the raw data looked like. If you made corrections to the raw data, you can put all that information into a field drawing. And even, like I mentioned before, even if you use software like Trimble Business Center, like we do here at Redefine Horizons, we still like to keep some of that information in a field drawing because TBC doesn't store every, you know, for example, TB, TBC doesn't store information about the edits you made to your raw data and who made it and why they made it and when they made it. So that's information that you can put in a field drawing. So, Again, what's a field drawing? Stores information about your field work. Um, why do you want one? It's kind of the go-to source for your team. It's got a kind of one-stop location where people can go and get information about the field work that's done. It can be set up for CAD users. You can set it up in a GIS. You can set it up to plot PDFs for your non-technical team members. Um, when should you have one? Every project, but for sure on projects that are more complicated either because of the length of time, the size, the number of people that you got working on them. So in the next video we're going to do, we're going to talk about how do we structure a field drawing, how do we do that here at Redefined Horizons, what goes into it, what are the layers, what are the, what are the layout tabs, that kind of thing, and uh, I'll give you, an, give you guys an idea how we do that. Thanks for watching.